Hi, my name is Emily and I work here at PGACO as an online QuickBooks specialist. I am an advanced pro advisor and I hope that this video answers any of your questions or queries you may have. If it doesn't, however, there will be a link at the end of the video taking you to my Find an Accountant page. Here you'll find reviews from some of my current clients and you can get in touch with any questions or queries you may have. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel for any future updates and new videos. Thank you very much. In this video I am going to show you how to write off bad debts within QuickBooks Online. A bad debt is a debt that cannot be recovered, so firstly we will need to set up a new expense account for bad debts. Navigate to the accounting tab on the left hand navigation and select new. This will be an expense account and the detail type will be bad debts. Once you're happy with this, save and close. We also need to create a service called bad debts and link it to the account we have just created. So click on the company cog and select products and services. Select new and service. I'm going to call this bad debts. Under the income account drop down, we're going to put this to the bad debt account. Here is the invoice I have in QuickBooks Online for my customer later LTD for £300. This company is no longer in business and we have decided that this invoice will not be paid and needs to be written off as a bad debt. To write this off, we click on the plus icon and select credit note. Enter the customer as later LTD and change the credit note date accordingly. It will default to today's date. Enter the product service column as bad debt. And in the description, you can enter a short description or invoice number here. So I'm just going to enter the invoice number just so it's clear for me if I ever look back. And enter the value. And the relevant VAT code. Once you've done that, click Save and Close. Now you will need to navigate to the customer's profile by going to Sales and then on Customers. Click on the relevant customer, and here you will see the overdue invoice and the credit note which has been unapplied. Click on the Receive Payment. And match this up against the credit note we have just created. So here you can see the invoice is ticked and the credit note is ticked. The amount received box should show zero. Once it does so, save and close. You will now see that the invoice shows as paid and the credit note has been applied. When you run the profit and loss, You will see this now shows as a bad debt in the expenses section.